This is Ronald Robson reporting from Berlin. I didn't know the Brandenburg Gate had been closed, of course, while I was in the East Zone and was surprised when I tried to get out to see soldiers of the East German Army with rifles and fixed bayonets standing shoulder to shoulder right across the broad avenue where the Unter den Linden gives access to the gate. At point after point where I tried to get out, I was turned aside and I had to go some distance to find a crossing point left open. I'd toured East Berlin fairly extensively, from its one spick and span street, the Stalin Alley, to points near the River Spree and the canals where refugees have been making their escapes. From the great Soviet war cemetery, where 7,000 Russian dead lie in surroundings of majestic beauty, to the shabby streets with their ill-stocked shops and the great areas of unrepaired bomb damage, the dismal surroundings which the living inhabit. It seemed to me necessary for a stranger to have a good look at East Berlin before he could understand what it means to the people there to be completely like cut off from the Western side. To lie to the house at one point, the he I looked did, from the East was side, was able to rise to high office in the Conservative Party. Well, it is a very good question, but the important thing, of course, is to know exactly how horrible it is. It is a uh, Secretary of State for War, holds uh, secrets, responsible for the lives of men, expected to uh, pursue policies um, impartially and with courage. He can't afford to have uh, dingy companions or squalid vices. It's intolerable that a man in this position should have behaved in this way. But isn't it some... It's tragic that he shouldn't have been found out. And then thereafter, 